In this short presentation, we'll show you some of the achievements and developments of the past year. Working together, our staff and students have produced outstanding results and the college has yet again established its position as one of the country's leading schools. We know that students learn best when the environment is good. This year the English, Humanities and Modern Foreign Language departments have benefited from a refurbishment programme. The college grounds have also had a refurbishment of sorts with extensive planting by the fountain and in the courtyard. This year, we look forward to embarking on the development of a conservation project on the college grounds that could be enjoyed in the future by our students and the local community. To further improve the quality of teaching, we ensure that staff and students have access to the latest ICT equipment. This year, a considerable investment has been made to replace the aging IMAX in the library and a suite of digital editing equipment is now a popular and well-used resource in media. The curriculum is at the heart of any school and at Brook Weston we regularly review the educational diet that the students receive. After much research, analysis and deliberation, we introduced a two-year Key Stage 3 programme in 2003. Planning is now underway for the revision of the remainder of our curriculum to ensure the highest levels of student achievement and engagement in the future. The staff at Brook Weston is committed to providing an excellent service. Saturday training and external courses are a key part of keeping that service consistent. The college more than fulfills its requirements as an investor in people. Currently, Charlie Smith, the librarian, is halfway through a degree course in librarianship. Seven teachers are pursuing master's degrees and eight are following a nationally accredited course called Leading from the Middle. The college has nine graduates training to be teachers and one of the office staff, Debbie Faller, is successfully pursuing an ATT accountancy course. Internal and external audits play a key part in maintaining and developing the best possible service for our students. The college holds the external quality assurance standard, ISO 2000. This industrial standard seal of approval is achieved by a rigorous inspection and accredits the high level of care we provide for all our students. Brook Weston is not just about academic achievements. Students are encouraged to participate in a wide range of activities outside the classroom. Last year the residential programme involved trips to Barcelona, Paris and Normandy. Year 7 students enjoyed abseiling, climbing and team building exercises as part of an outdoor pursuit week at Fairthorn Manor. During the summer term, students from year 7 to 13 participated in a sailing course at Rutland Water and each will receive a first level proficiency certificate. The Duke of Edinburgh Award Scheme is proving a challenging and worthwhile activity for many students in years 9 to 13. 30 individuals are working towards their bronze, whilst 15 are now on their silver award. Sports activities remain extremely popular. We have achieved a strong presence in a number of county finals and semi finals. In October, three teams from each key stage entered the Formula One in Schools competition. The students were required to design and make a working model of a Formula One racing car. The sixth form students won their category, making them regional winners and went on to enter the national competition. Once again, Phil Hope chaired another successful youth forum with students from year 10 to 13 discussing a range of local, national and international issues. The college is a leading edge school taking its place amongst 101 others who have been selected to work directly with DFES to develop innovative practice. This year, we were invited to present our work in developing a web-based resource for teacher training to a number of national conferences. Brook Weston has, over the last few years, shared its expertise with IBM and worked together to provide training for other schools across the country on school improvement projects. Last year, our relationship with IBM continued to develop 
with our Business Studies students competing in an IBM business competition. Attain products continue to support a range of schools across the country. 180 schools currently use its resources. Over 370 teachers have been fully trained by the Attain team and some schools have more than doubled their 5A star to C pass rate thanks to GNVQ. This year the college has played a leading role in the development of an academy to replace the Corby Community College and this initiative, supported by the Garfield Western Foundation and BB Developments, has made good progress. We look forward to working closely with local schools and the community over the coming year. We believe that success is measured by achievements and this year is no exception. This year's SATS results in the national tests in English, Mathematics and Science were excellent predicting excellent GCSE results in 2006. At A-level our performance was in line with those achieved over the past few years with particular success in science, media and art and design. 100% of our students gained 5 or more A-star to C in the GCSE examinations with a spectacular improvement in the A and A-star grades. The target had been to improve this percentage from 20% to 25% but it actually rose to 29%. Students of all abilities were well rewarded for their effort and the college was placed equal top in many national league tables. This was undoubtedly our most successful year ever and congratulations to all the staff and students who worked so hard to achieve these outstanding results. As we reflect on the last year, the college can be very satisfied with its many achievements and we shall continue to pursue our goal of excellence in all that we do.